up guys welcome back to the channel okay I woke up this morning feeling like I really didn't want to do anything and it's a strange feeling because it's a beautiful day I'm off today and I just wanted to you know I had that feeling I just wanted to sit around the house and couldn't really be bothered to get on my shoes on and go out for a run so what am I doing to combat that I got in the car and I'm going somewhere a little different to do my run I'm going to well you'll see in just a second but I find that if I just put that extra effort in when I'm not feeling it that I'll be happy I did it can be tough not feeling like doing something but just putting that little bit of extra effort in to do something a little more special than normal well that can pay dividends guys my name is Matt and on this channel we talk about all things running if you like running if you like going to new places to run go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you're not already subscribed consider doing so right now and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video okay with that said let's go for a run Got a shopping bag. I forgot to bring a towel, so I've got to put a shopping bag down on the seat so I don't ruin it with all my sweat because because it's a hot one. It is 77 degrees, which is 25 degrees Celsius. It's a little uh, it's a little toasty out, but it was a great run here at Celery Fields. I usually like to run from the house for obvious reasons because when I get home, I'm done and I can jump right in the shower it's just easier but occasionally occasionally it is nice to jump in the car and go to somewhere different you know a change is as good as a holiday as they say so this was a pretty good run it was on trails for 95 percent of the time i did wear my ultra Torin. Uh, they are road shoes but the trails here they are they're very hard packed and gravelly so they're really the shoes work very well uh, I would choose road shoes on these kind of trails anytime. How about that run? Well, total was 9.05 miles, which is about 14, 14 and a half kilometers, 14.56 maybe, something like that. Average pace, 8.27 a mile, which is 5.15 a kilometer. There was, uh, there was lots of ups and downs. It was just a nice change from what I usually do. And it really picked up my mood. So I was kind of meh. You know, when I woke up this morning, I was just kind of, nah, I don't feel like doing anything. And this really snapped me out of it. So let's get home. Let's do something else fun for the day. Harmony's off. I'm off. So yeah, we're going to, we're going to have some fun. All right. I will see you back at the house. Okay. Now I am back from the run and Harmony and I are going to do something else, something a little different, something to loosen up the old body. We are going to do some yoga. All right. Which yoga are we doing, Harmony? We're doing the um, Beyonce, the new Beyonce one. Okay, yeah. So Peloton released uh, some Beyonce inspired workouts and now we are doing the 30 minute Beyonce yoga. So this is it. Perfect. That was a lot of fun. I'm feeling a little more pliable now. Now, I have to let you guys in on something. Harmony asked me to do something today that I'm not entirely comfortable with. I just think, I just think it's too soon. But those of you that are married, sometimes we have to make concessions for those we love and to keep a happy home, right? So I am gonna, even though I think it's way too early, I am gonna go ahead and do this for her.
Right, I'm upstairs in the attic, and this is where I kind of throw everything that I'm, I either want to hang on to, which isn't a lot of stuff, or stuff that only gets used once in a while. Like, I keep our suitcases up here. I've got photos from ages ago kept up here, like actual hard copy photos, and I don't know why I'm actually keeping them, but that's not why I'm here today. It's never easy. It's never easy getting anything from up in the attic. Have you figured out what it is yet? I didn't really think about the label, but if you went back, you might be able to see the label, or you may just know that um, it's that time of year when I'm getting something down from the attic. Maybe you don't think it's too early for this. Maybe you are on the side of Harmony and thinks, you know what, it's November, it's time for this tradition. If you are, go ahead and write in the comments. Are you on Team Harmony or Team Matt? And don't worry, I'm not gonna be upset. I know that the vast majority of you, like approaching 99% are on Team Harmony. Let's see what's in this box. You ready for this? Keep watching. Look at that, look at that. Okay, now you may or may not agree with me, but this is a fake tree. A lot of you are probably looking down on me for having a fake tree, but I challenge you. Any fool can go out into the woods and chop down a tree and bring it into their home and it's gonna look beautiful. It's gonna look absolutely gorgeous because it's natural. This is fake. This is fake and it takes a real eye. It takes a real appreciation of the arts to make a fake tree look good. And this fake tree is pre-lit, so it takes that extra step to make it look really good. Anyway, I just realized now that uh, the top part isn't lit up, only the bottom part is, so maybe there's a little bit of science involved. It's not all art, hold on. That's better. I realize that you do have to plug in the different sections of the tree. So I tell you what, I don't mind admitting it to you guys, but I am feeling undeservedly accomplished at doing this. Someone's got to do it, right? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Oh, you know what? Harmony hasn't seen it yet. She's in the, uh, she's in the other room doing her ballet. Let's, let's get her reaction to the tree when she comes out. Love you. What'd you have to? Just practicing. Hey, um, I've got something to show you. You wanna come out here for just a second? Yeah. Okay, close your eyes and hold on to me. Like, hold on to the back of me. <laughs> okay. What I... is happening? And what are you wearing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't know I was gonna be on camera. <laughs> okay, now let go of me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh my God, I love it. Thank you, Lovey. I'll help you put the ornaments on. Wait, help me put the ornaments on? The, the tree was my job. The ornaments are your job. No, we'll do it together. That is a very good spouse. Showing appreciation for something so simple. So simple. All right, guys. If you got any value, give this video a thumbs up. I'll be back in a couple days. Be kind, be happy, run well. See you next time. <laughs>